All right, whole side. Oh, that hurt. That hurt me a lot, apparently. The Yamato. Now, this is not a one-to-one -one scale. This ship is a nuclear reactive ship. So, oh crap. Come on, sweet baby Odin's ass cheeks. I want to go for a ride. Oh god, no, the whole one side's been destroyed. See how fast ships can sink. I strapped, I think, 18 blocks of C4 all across the hull. Bang, 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 bang. Can I escape this in time? All the way down along the side. Oh, crap. That was a lot of C4. Through big juicy waves. Oh, the Amato just took a hell of a beating on that sea to get out. We actually need to get out. This experiment did not go as planned. And I just barely escaped that one. God damn it. You're about to go meet a new friend called Ocean Gate. I hope you enjoy. We managed to just barely escape. This is a pretty big ship though. Look at the whole, all that damage. So much damage. Today on Stormworks, we're going to be trying out something a little different in sinking ship survival terms. We're going to try capsizing a whole bunch of different ships and seeing if we can escape them in time. So the first ship that we have to capsize and sink and escape is the 557 USS Johnston from World War II. It's a nice good sized destroyer. I've already rigged some C4. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit that C4 button quick. Zoom out. Oh, oh, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, sound looks like water or something's leaking somewhere. And that engine revving. Oh god, engine's revving. Okay, let's see. So the ship is sinking, I want to presume. Oh crap. Okay, turn those starters off. Oh, so we do have a fire suppression at least. We'll activate that. That way we at least get the fire out. Now, I don't know if this ship has automatic pumping systems. It probably does for all I know. Okay, so I think this ship is has some type of automatic pumping, which is why it's not sinking as fast as I thought it would. Crap, this thing is not sinking. I hope that, aw oh crap, this thing's not sinking fast enough that I thought it would. Okay, plan B. Plan B in this case is not the abortion pill. Plan B is using Megalodons to do enough sufficient damage that we will actually be flipped over. Now the only problem is, is waiting for the goddamn Megalodon to actually hit us. Come on you dumb piece of shit Megalodon, hit me, hit me. Come on, let's play some blackjack. Hit me, damn it. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, I, I asked for it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what, what, what we were asking for. Come on. Cook it. Cook it. God damn it. Did we even, like, take on? Oh, we took some good hits there. This thing is still floating like hardcore. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't have hit that Megalodon button so much. I wanted to at least capsize the ship, but it's not capsizing. So we're going to go back inside. We're going to wait for it to flip over. All right, so now that we're back inside and it's being all messed up by Megalodons, we're going to sit in the officer's quarters. We're going to wait for it to flip over on its side, and then we have to escape. That's the goal. We want to maintain that goal. Now the question is, will the Megalodons actually flip us over? Come on, flip us over. Aw, oh, I should have left that berthing open. That would have flooded us for sure. Okay, now we're starting to drop below waterline. But it's not enough. Yeah, that's not going to capsize. I think there's like an auto balancer on this thing that's keeping it floating up nicely. Um, oh crap. Oh god, this thing is heavily damaged. Okay, maybe, maybe we should get out because one of the f parts of the front... Oh, oh god, that is heavily flooded. Okay, uh, ah, uh, crap, can we get out through the back? Oh god, why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? What am I, what am I stuck on? Oh, it's this stupid angling. You should never do that. Never do that, because then you get stuck. 
Can we go out through the back? Is there a way out through here? Oh, there's a ladder. There's a ladder. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Megalodon just hit an ammo bunker. Oh, sweet Lord Lon Johnson. This was not part of the plan, but it still kind of worked out. Oh, God. I am standing on the edge of of danger. I'm at the danger zone right now. Okay, so it never capsized, but it's at least bobbing. Oh, look. It's just like Titanic. Okay, so that didn't exactly go as planned. Is it at least going to sink? Uh-oh. And it's gone. That ship, and it's still bobbing. God damn it. That thing's resilient as fuck. Okay. Oh, and shark got me. Okay. Well, I failed that survival. Okay, so the, the USS Johnson didn't do so well. So we're going to try my AMC Antorio Graza. I've already put a whole bunch of C4 on the one side. So the idea is we got into deep enough water. I'm going to slow this down a bit, though. So we're going to go down below. We have to get to the very bottom of the ship to do this. We're going to hit the C4. Uh, where can I sit without dying? Actually, here. I'll just go into the ladies' room. There we go. Ladies' washroom. All right. I'm going to take a shower. Da, 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 da. And then out of nowhere. Oh, God. No, the whole one side's been destroyed. And I'm not even going to turn on the pumps. I'm just going to let nature do its thing. Oh, we're starting to see that list. Exactly what I was looking for. Now, how much water? Oh, oh, hot dog. Oh, water is filling up fast. Oh, God. It's filling up faster on sea deck than it is on the very bottom. Okay, um... So, I need to get out of this bathroom. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, never mind. Um, okay, no, we need to go a little bit up. Oh, crap. I think we're just dropping by the bow. Yep, it's all flooding to the bow. Oh, God, this whole room's underwater. Oh, crap. Oh, God, this whole room's underwater, too. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I can't get out. I can't get out. I actually cannot get out right now. Oh, uh, crap. I am so trapped. I am so screwed. I have to go back under. Nope. That's not going to work either. Oh, crap. It never capsized. Why can't these ships capsize? Can I at least get out? No, there's nothing in there either. Ah, uh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Ow, fire, fire, very hot. Oh, no. No, I think I just went. Yep, I think I'm gone down. I think the ship just dropped. Come on. Uh oh, that's not a good. Whoa. Oh, no. I'm on the bottom. I'm on the bottom of the ocean. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Um, oh, Shiza. Okay, this is not good. Okay, we'll be okay. Oh, the pressure's already getting to me. Crap. I couldn't even escape. Yep. Oh, the ship sank so fast that it just dropped to the very bottom. Uh, this is like 114 feet of freaking water. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, okay. Almost there. Ah, made it. Oh my god. That was... A okay, so we, we survived that one only because we managed to get to a spot with gear. But in theory, if I had passengers on board, they wouldn't have survived. Why is it so hard to capsize a ship, though? I'm trying. I just want to capsize one ship. Okay, if that ship won't capsize, let's try another one. Okay, so our second ship didn't exactly capsize the way I wanted to. So the next ship we're going to try capsizing is the MV Castle Car Ferry Boat. And I figured this is a pretty good sized boat. 
So I've already laid down a C4, so I'm chilling inside a cabin. You know, I'm just chilling, enjoying my vacation. And then all of a sudden... Bang, 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 bang! Oh no, my vacation's been cut short because I forgot to use insurance. To get traveler's insurance. Now I'm gonna die. Yes, I left that door open on purpose. Alright, let's see. Will this capsize? Oh no! I think the boat's on fire because the lighting glitch is happening. What will I ever do? I better start making my way to the top of the ship. And I'm just going to sit in my bedroom scared. Oh, I'm going to sit in the bathroom and think everything's going to be okay. Oh. Oh, crap. What the hell? Why is the bow... What's the bow doing? Oh. Oh. Okay, nope. We need to get out. We actually need to get out. This experiment did not go as planned. Uh, this experiment did not go as planned. Whoa. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, ah. Uh, okay, nope, it dropped. Okay, we just barely got out of that. Can we get the lifeboat ready, though? Can we at least get the lifeboat ready? Can we at least get that unhooked? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. No! Oh, I took it down with it. Ah, oh, I couldn't even get the lifeboat ready. Why can't any of these... None of these ships can capsize. There's only one ship that I know that actually can capsize. And I'm going to have to bring it out in order to do this test properly. Well, that ship was gone. God damn it. Okay, so I had to bring out one of my dinosaur freaking ships. The good old classic Wilhelm Ontario. Now... I put a crap ton more of extra C4 all along this side. So, here we go. Will it capsize? I think, yeah, we're in deep enough water, I'd say. It should, be, it should at least be deep enough. That C4 thingy ready. All the way down along the side. Oh, crap. That was a lot of C4. Oh, this whole side is completely destroyed. Yep, there we go. Now it's capsizing. Yeah. Oh, it's tilting to one side. Oh, crap. I forgot to at least stop the ship. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. It's actually capsizing. Oh, God. This might actually be a little bit more fatal. This might prove to be a little bit more fatal. Okay, yep. I need to, I need to start making my way out. Making my way out. Ah, uh, crap, crap, crap. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. God, crap. I can't go under there. Ah, oh, crap. Of course, because the water is full, is flowing me out. Oh, oh, crap. Okay, yeah, we have definitely capsized. I have to try and do this without falling. Oh, nope. Okay, we're going to have to use this side to swim up. Oh, crap. I can't. Oh, man. The, why is capsizing so hard to get out of? Oh, is there, oh, wait. Yeah, I can maybe get out through here. Yes. Okay, we're at the surface level. I got to stop the ship, though. Never mind. It's going to stop itself. Yep, it's stopping itself. Okay, so it didn't fully capsize like I wanted it to. But, we managed to just barely escape. We, yeah, oh, uh, there it goes. It's still going because the electric motor inside, so that's, like, keeping it lightly floating up. Aww. Uh, Tokyo Drift sinking ship. Ouch. Is it still going to keep moving, though, while it's on the bottom? With that electric motor going? Oh, yep. Yeah, it's still trying to move. It's still trying to freaking move. <laughs> Yeah, it's not. That's not going anywhere. That that ship completely sank. Next ship we're gonna try capsizing, or it's just gonna end up sinking like the rest. Is the 007 type missile ship that I've used a lot in my uh, Naval War series. I strapped on a. I strapped on like 18 blocks of C4 all around this thing, all over the guns and other spots. So it's gonna throw the weight off a lot. Okay, here we go. And I'm in my crew bunk, and detonate, and then quickly go to camera mode. Oh, I forgot to mention, this ship is a nuclear reactive ship. So, oh crap. Oh damn. 
That that actually did a lot of damage. Oh god. Yep. The sound the sound broke a little bit there. Now I'm hoping with all of the destruction on board, praying to God it didn't accidentally cause a nuclear um, nuclear issue that it's just gonna drop straight down. Uh, what the hell? What the hell? The missiles are just popping. They're popping out. Uh oh. Yep. I don't think this thing's gonna capsize. I just want ships to capsize. Is that too hard to ask? Oh crap. Um, can I escape this in time? Okay, let's try. Let's go. Crew deck. Oh, can I at least get the helicopter going? Can I get that going? Negative. Oh, uh, no. Ah, uh, nope. It's gone. God damn it. Aw, oh, man. That that caused quite the issue there. Okay, well, I just barely got out of that one after holding off to the last minute. I think it drove itself down. God damn it. My quest to try and make a ship actually capsize and flip over, I brought out a ship that a lot of people are familiar with in one of my shorts in the last minute sinking ship. So we're going to try this just like that, but without the rescue helicopter. So... I'm inside the engine room, very deep inside the ship. I'm gonna hit the C4. All right, whole side. So oh, that hurt. That hurt me a lot, apparently. Oh, and it even blew a hatch open. Okay, it's starting to flip over. Yeah, she's rolling. This ship is going to roll on a bunch of sides, so it's flooding on the left side hallway. That door is closed. Oh, it's still gonna flood though. It's still gonna flood no matter how I look at it. Okay, yep. That whole room's flooding. Oh, this whole bedroom is starting to flood. I don't know how much of this room's gonna flood. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a hole a hole in the hatch. Oh yeah, that hole. Oh, oh crap. I okay, I need to get out of there. I need to get out. I'm gonna drown if I don't. Okay, come on. I need to get out of certain areas of the ship before I get stuck permanently. Oh crap, how the hell am I going to climb that? I can't, oh, there we go, I forgot I put a handle here. For just such an emergency. Yes! Okay. Almost there. Oh crap. Close that door, close that door. Ah, uh, I can't even get into the bridge. No. Ah. Uh, okay, so it kind of capsized. Okay, that. I don't know why. I think I need to either use a tsunami to flip the ships upside down to make them capsize, but I'm having a hard time capsizing ships right now. It, it's on its side at least, and I just barely escaped that one. God damn it. Okay, I think that's deep enough. So, I was going to use C4 to try and flip this ship, but it doesn't flip over because of all of its weight distribution. That's kind of guaranteed. It's literally the last second. So, we're going to spawn a tsunami. I got to see what direction it's going to come from. We'll slow the ship down a tiny bit. Oh, boy. Yep, there it is. There's the big wave. Oh, it's eating the island. I don't think we're on the right angle for it, but... Honestly, good enough. Okay, we're going to close this door. And we're going to see if we can at least flip the ship upside down. I'm going to go into my captain's quarters. I'm going to lay in my bed. Come on, sweet baby Odin's ass cheeks. I want to go for a ride. Come on, facade and flip me. Flip me like a goddamn... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, I'm flipping. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's gonna roll again. And there we go. All right, it is capsized. Now for the fun part. So we'll take some C4. I'll put it on that door. Just so I can at least do the experiment. This is all in, in terms for the experiment. We're going to just put C4 on. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong side. Ah, oh, well, screw it. It'll be fine. And we're gonna stand in this one corner. 
That might have killed me. That might have killed me. Oh no! <laughs> All the ammo's exploding in the one side. And it's on fire. It's still exploding. God damn. Okay. So, now, will it flip the ship back over onto one of its good sides? Uh, okay, no. I think that one, because of that one room, it's going to just drop. It's just going to drop heavy down. And, wait a minute. That's my only way out right there. Uh-oh. Um... Ah crap, if that's my only way out, then how am I supposed to escape? I don't think I'm gonna actually Okay, yeah, no, we need to we need to get out of here. I need to open the door. We need to get out. So that's that's kinda of the only way of it. I I did I completely forgot that design flaw that there's only one way out of that ship. Uh, okay, so that ex okay, so we were able to flip a ship. We were able to capsize it, but we weren't quite able to do any special type of like escape maneuvers that point uh yeah it's going down let's just enjoy enjoy the sight of a whole freaking battle pocket battleship just dropping you're about to go meet a new friend called ocean gate i hope you enjoy just uh at least my ship isn't controlled with a logitech controller has actually got a helm and a system Huh, there we go. I, I, I gave Ocean Gate a new friend to, to, to chill with, considering it's a much more powerful, much more stronger at sea. Bye bye, battleship. Alrighty, here's a little surprise for everyone. Let's end this video off with a legendary classic ship, the Yamato. Now, this is not a one to one scale. I mean, a one-to-one -one scale, it almost kind of looks like it. Either way, it's just it's fucking huge. It's a big-ass ship. So, to end this video off, to see how fast ships can sink, I strapped, I think, 18 blocks of C4 all across the hull of this thing on the one side. And it's not so much a matter of if I can escape the sinkingness of this, but how fast can we make this ship sink? So, we're going to throw everything we can. We're going to throw some wind gonna spawn some megalodons some krakens all right here we go and detonating the c4 as we are going through big juicy waves oh the amato just took a hell of a beating on this port no starboard yeah port side that's it yeah that's the port side my bad it's hurting it's hurting. I don't know how long this thing's going to last in these horrible waves. Along with a Megalodon and a Kraken coming. I need to stop this boat. I need to stop it. Stop it before it gets too crazy. Okay, I think I see a Megalodon coming about. On the one side. Oh, there's the Kraken and a Megalodon. Oh no. It's going to eat the Yamato. Oh no. Yamato is being succubus by a kraken now i don't think the kraken can easily drag it down oh god tentacles tentacles everywhere god damn it zoidberg get off my ship something tells me these waves aren't helping the ship sink faster why do you keep missing it oh there you go full 360 and he lightly rammed into it come on let's see how much of a beating this ship can take Oh, oh wow, it's actually starting to drop already. That's impressive. A buddy of mine also made this ship. So it's pretty cool to see how much of a damage tolerance it can take. Oh, Kraken's just trying to drag it down. Is it going to capsize? Oh, we're really starting to drop below the waterline now. Oh is, oh, is it going to tip it over? Oh, Megalodon, you need to do better than that if you want to tip the Yamato over. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, so the bow is definitely dropping. This is a pretty big ship, though. Look at the whole, all that damage. So much damage. Oh, here it comes. Megalodon's coming in like a dirty torpedo. Torpedo. Oh, yeah, he rammed it, and he's pushing it. Megalodon is helping me turn. Oh, wow. The first set of battle cannons are starting to go under. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I need to, like, find a way out of here, too. Okay. I need to escape. Escape. 
Uh oh. I don't I don't think this is my way of escaping. There we go. Okay, wait, there is a way to escape. And close that for now. Oh god. My whole bow is underwater. Something tells me I need to get back inside. Quick. Get back inside the tower. We might be doomed, but at least we'll be a little bit safe. Krakens are hungry, Megalodons are hungry. Everything is so hungry. Man, I'm hungry. That's why I just ate some popcorn. That tsunami's gonna get us and flip us. Just as it's cracking, goes to finish us off. Here we go, lads. We're about to put the Yamato over a tsunami. And I'm probably gonna die the minute it goes over. Or it's gonna drop right below the waterline. Oh, crap. It's going ass up. It's not even going up and above. It's just dropping. Oh, crap. I think this is a death sentence. This might be a death sentence. Oh, crap. I think we flipped it. Oh, maybe not. Wow, that thing's a little resilient. More resilient than I thought it'd be. So apparently the tsunami didn't sink it. That's a little, little disheartening. Oh, look. A door is open. There we go. Now that we have as many doors open as possible... Oh, is there? Oh, there's a thing down there too. Okay, we're gonna open as many hatches as we can, and we're gonna plummet to see how fast this thing plummets. Oh God, is it ever starting to go down now? This is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Where are the crackets? Where are the megalodons? Why aren't they here finishing me off? This thing's actually like holding up pretty hardcore. The amount of, like, things open and flooding right now, and it still hasn't dropped all the way. Oh, okay. I might have spoke a little too soon. It takes a lot to sink this one ship. Like, between the 18 blocks of C4, the tsunami, me opening up all the doors, it's a, it's a lot. And then all the light Kraken attacks and the Megalodon attacks. This thing's pretty damn resilient. Aw, oh, top part of the bridge is about to go under. Uh, I think it's safe to say that the mock Yamato has been plundered. Only a tiny bit of the ship is left. <laughs> That's right, Phoenix. We're on a sinking ship. The very last second of the tiniest little bit of the ship before it completely goes under. Because again, just to add a little extra drip to this video, everyone loves to see the ass end of a ship go straight down in the final plunder. Yeah, I just had to add that in. Oh, it's gone. Kraken's going to take that and have that battleship breakfast. And it's sinking very slowly for that little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this how fast can we sink ships in Stormworks type of video. I'm hoping my next Stormworks video we can do some more ba battle stuff. Maybe even like work with the World War II mod or some, something in general. But... I hope you at least enjoyed this video and hope you check out some other videos. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, stay safe and stay happy. I got popcorn kernels stuck in my teeth. Ugh, <laughs> <sighs> oh, fuck.